What's up guys? Got another video for you. I should say guys and girls because statistically speaking, 2% of my viewers on YouTube analytics are female. I mean, that's all I know about analytics. So, this is the Nike logo on the box. I got these at the outlet. It's a foam. It's a pair of foams. It's a sick colorway in my opinion. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comment section. And I'm sure by the title you know how much I paid for them. Here it says $215, but I paid much less than that. You can see the receipt right now, right here, this is the receipt. As you can see, I got a sick deal. I love the boxes on these. The Nike logo is super fly. Here's the shoe in a size 12. Luckily, I can throw these on for you so you can see how they look on foot. And because they're so shiny, I'm gonna have to stop it down a little bit. Let's go with a 3.5 aperture. I love the chromed out Nike logo right here. They call this the Island Green colorway. I think it's super fly. I'm gonna throw these on for you in a second. I got a sick deal. As you know, 105 bucks plus tax, Canadian. That's like 80 US dollars, that's nothing. For sneakers, I mean it's a lot of money. It can you can do a lot with eighty dollars. Don't get me wrong. But here's the shoes right here. That conventional carbon fiber type thing on the phone. The Nike logo. Subscribe to the channel, eh? While you're at it, I'm gonna throw these on for you. While I'm doing it, I'm gonna tell you a quick little story to keep this interesting. I don't even like sneakers that much. I just like shopping. And honestly, the best way to shop is to buy sneakers because they don't lose any value. And if you wanna go out and spend some money and you're kind of, you have an addiction to shopping and stuff, and you don't even wear the stuff you buy, it's probably best for you to go out and buy some sneakers. Especially nice sneakers like this because if you pick them up in the outlet, they probably won't lose any value. I mean, if you go to Foot Locker and pay full pop for these, you're probably going to lose some money in the long run. But if you end up with a bunch of these sneakers, one day somebody's going to want a pair of them. And if you're short on money, you can always get rid of them. This is the Nike Foam Posit Island Green, as I said before. I'm super glad I caught this. It was a great little purchase. I, I do have white socks on, I know, I apologize. If you want me to step up my sock game, definitely subscribe to the channel to see some upgrades in the sock game. As you can see, the Island Green colorway is pretty fly. I'm considering wearing these for my next year's basketball season. Maybe I'll get drafted. To the NBA and I'll play a couple games in these. I'll be honest, one of my goals in life is to play in the NBA and I know like it's probably not going to happen. So I think I'm going to settle for the celebrity game. If I'm ever able to play in the celebrity game, I think I'll call it a day, you know? The celebrity game would be pretty sick. It's a nice little goal for me. And honestly, if you think that that's unrealistic and you think it's a little ridiculous for me to say maybe if you subscribe to the channel it won't be so unrealistic because I'll get more famous that way this is the foam posit island green on foot with the chromed out Nike logo right here All in all, I must say, the sneaker is very, very fly. Let's pull that back right there. I like it a lot. Pop that thumbnail real quick. As foams go, I've heard if you want to ball out in them, you gotta warm them up a little bit. You gotta loosen out all this area because it's pretty firm. 
I can feel that at first touch it would be pretty difficult to rock these playing ball. But maybe once you wear them out a little bit, they'll perform pretty well. That's my Nike outlet find for you guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so one day I can play the celebrity game.